Alright, g'day, I'm Diesel. And I'm Anita. And we're Kit and Oz, Camper Trailer Traveller. Just pulled up at Madeira. Don't do what Dion did and parked right in the middle of the uh, golf course and there was someone teeing off. So they've been very kind and gone in for lunch while so, we parked here. All right, so what we did was, <laughs> all right, here we are. We made it to uh, the Binder Cliffs and wow, we have a look at this. That's not good. G'day, I'm Diesel from Getting Around Oz, and we're Camper Trailer Traveling Australia. Um, this is our first episode. Um, clearly new to this, but um, bear with us, and we'll try and make it interesting and uh, show you some cool things. Um, so this episode will cover the Nullarbor, uh, and there's obviously a few cool, uh, few cool places across there. Um, haven't shown you too much before here from this side of Perth because to be honest with you there's not many exciting things there to show you um, but before we get into it we'll just uh, give you a quick look at the place we stayed at last night which was uh, a little free camp um, in Fraser Range and then um, we'll get going cheers Alright, well, good morning. It's um, day one. Sorry, it's the morning of day two. It's only five to six, so I'm trying to be a bit quiet and just woken up. Um, what's you see there in the background? Um, got the sun coming up, so I'll try and get the drone up in a sec. Some of these other people here are just waking up as well. Um, we ended up staying at a place called 10, 10 Mile Rocks, um, which we found on Wiki Camps, which is just near the Fraser Range. Um, pretty cruisy drive in when it got in about 5, 5 30 last night, so didn't get any footage because we we're just sort of getting trying to get set up um, as quick as we can here. and. Um, we'll get a few things together, but yeah, so far everything's going okay and pretty nice, but this place is just so quiet, which is beautiful, just not a sound anywhere. Hey, listen.
Right, um, so we just pulled up at Madura, um, but I just want to point out something. We came, we came through here a uh, week after Christmas, and when we came here last time, there wasn't a single car anywhere here. There was no one out here at all. Um, you know, you can see caravans, campers over that way there. There's a few over there, there's cars down there. Um, the hotel, it's got people there. The roadhouse is back open. Um, the service station and the, the mechanic shop there is open now and um, it's good to see it all going again. So um, if you get your chance, um, try and get out here and support you know, these poor buggers spelling out here because um, they definitely need us out here. Um, don't do what Dion did and parked right in the middle of the uh, golf course and there was someone teeing off. So they've been very kind and gone in for lunch. Well, so, we parked here. Alright, so what we did was, <laughs> see just down there, there's a little, there's a, there's a green there. Um, so, two guys there were standing with golf sticks, so we didn't think much of it. Crew so we just parked right here. And uh, the guy was kind enough to go, Oh, would you like me to head over you? And I went, Oh, what, what, what do you mean? Turns out just up there is where the, <laughs> it's where the hole is. And uh, obviously, you didn't see that massive sign right there saying no park across the golf course. I mean, let's be honest, a golf course out here is a pretty generous term for it, but, <laughs> but hey, it's pretty cool anyway, but... Your mate. There's a tip for you. <laughs> Just take note of where the, uh, the knowable um, Golf Links golf, golf course is, so you don't do the same thing. Far away, <laughs> far away, far away. I could get the lung, could be a different man. Just a tip for you if you haven't got it, get fuel map. Uh, it's great for knowing what the fuel prices are right here. It's a buck, what is the buck? 74 here at Ubuck. Um, the highs I've had to pay so far is about a buck 85. Um, and if uh, fuel map's in the go, the bike's actually going to go up to about $192. Up in the border town, it's a bit further on, so um, get on that, save yourself some money. Um, so unfortunately we're not going to drop into Euclid this time around. Um, as disappointed as I am, uh, we're going we're gonna to just push on to um, the Bunda Cliffs where uh, we didn't get to the last few times and so Anita's pretty keen to stay out there. So we'll leave it there and we'll, uh, we'll pick you up a bit further up the road. Made it to uh, the Binder Cliffs and wow, we have a look at this. Watching the sunset go down now. Um, boys have had a shower. Um, so just having a bit of a run around and yeah. Yeah, so Nina's over there having a shower now. And, um, yeah, we're just starting to chill out. So most of the camp is set up, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's going to have a quick, quick shower myself, and then. We might get this drone up and uh, and try and get a good picture of sunset, but bloody hell, how good is this? It's pretty amazing. Um, no flies here, no mozzies, uh, which is great as well. Um, unfortunately, well, I suppose the range was pretty, pretty nice 
Hey Zach, don't throw rocks at your brother, mate. Kids, eh? Yeah, so Fraser Range obviously had a lot of multis and, um, and flies and stuff, but there's just nothing here at all. Absolutely no, no flies. A little bit of wind, um, but nothing compared to what it's been like previous times here. But uh, it's pretty special. Righto, we're about to wrap it up here for the night. Um, hopefully uh, the, um, the drone footage turned out pretty well and the kids are still having a ball. Playing in the big rock pile there, as kids do. Um, what have we got on here? Just the spuds. Uh, there's some steak on the table there. And uh, we're ready to go. All right, so we'll leave it there and um, we'll try and get a nice picture of the sunrise in the morning. Um, this is the Bunner Cliffs. It's pretty bloody amazing. I'm going to try and get out real quick and try and catch some of this sunset, as you can see in the back there. Sunrise. Cool. It's a sunrise, <laughs> not a sunset. Thank you. And uh, well, I'll have a look at this. The water is absolute glass. It's bloody beautiful. If you do camp here though, make sure you uh, take everything inside at night time because everything's super wet from the mist. Cheers, oh, yeah. like Right, pretty magic. Get the train up. So I've got to say, um, well, the, the beach looks like it's a fair way down there on the Great Australian, start of the, the Great Australian bite here. All night, we um, just had the sounds of the waves crashing in the ocean, um, which was pretty, pretty unreal. <coughs> um, but uh, yeah, look, we're about done here. Um, we're gonna start, start packing up. Um, but I just thought I'd show, show you something here, so. So normally we have a, a shower curtain um, that normally goes here for the shower. Uh, and I guess I just sort of put this little thing together. Uh, so the shower head goes up there. And also we've got a little outdoor shower here and yeah, sure I could put the shower curtain up, but why would you? You can have a morning shower with the sun coming up. And uh, we actually had the um, a shower last night, the sunset going down, which is pretty unbelievable. Um, there's no one else around, there's a guy uh, down off in the distance there. But um, yeah, it's just not bad, hey. So the plan is um, to scoot um, to Streaky Bay tonight. Uh, I'm actually gonna spend a couple of nights there and uh, put our feet up and relax. Uh, for a bit before we um, we get back on the road again and um, head towards uh, going through the top of the top of SA and up into New South Wales as we make our way um, over to the Gold Coast and really start to enjoy our journey. That's not good.